Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and for today's video, I'm here to talk about an ongoing series that I'm currently watching, Tomodachi Game R4. Now, I've watched the mini series and also the two-part film in 2017 starring Yoshizawa Ryo, and I have to say that when it came to the live-action treatment of this particular manga, Yoshizawa Ryo definitely set the standard high when it came to playing the main character Katagiri Yuichi, simply because he definitely embodies that kind of duality that I will be explaining later when it comes to the character. This is also a kind of like suspenseful thriller mind game type of genre and it's really interesting how much he nailed that role to perfection. So I didn't really read anything about this particular new version if you will and I thought that it was going to be a spin-off as compared to a reboot so I was really surprised when I watched the first episode and it was basically the same characters as the other version and also like the same story arc but i'll be talking more about how that's not exactly a bad thing later on into the video For that real quick i just want to say that i'm planning to review this series after it ends i just want to talk about it um in its initial stages right now simply because we're still in the arcs that are also present in the 2017 version and that's why it's just nice to compare the two and i really have some thoughts already about the portrayal that went into the series so far and I'm quite curious as to how far they're going to take the storyline as well since this is more of a drama format as compared to the 2017 version where it's a mini series and also that later transformed into a two-part film so yeah now this series also stars a lot of johnny's juniors shonen and also hi hi jets and it also has kikuchi fuma from sexy zone sexy zone is the one who sang the ending theme for this one which i absolutely love i'll be putting a link to the music video of trust me trust you down in the description below simply because i absolutely love how they made that music video for this particular song but yeah <laughs> Tomodachi game is basically about Katagiri Uichi who is not exactly that well off. He has a particularly mysterious background but he gains this group of friends that he absolutely adores and has a good relationship with. However, because of a certain incident, he finds himself and his friend group within this game that puts them in debt. Every level of the game kind of like reveals a dark secret about each member of the friend group and therefore the trust and relationship and their bond is really tested to the maximum capacity and that's why a lot of people don't exactly survive the games. Now, uh, however, what's interesting about it is because Yuichi is such a different and interesting character, he's able to navigate through this particular games but in not exactly the friendliest nor the nicest manner and that's the premise of this game basically now what i like about this version is they definitely differentiated a lot of like the way the characters are presented just that i really, really like was with um kokorogi's character so there's something about her character that's going to be that that was revealed um in game two um but in the live action adaptation for um, the 2017 one um, it was quite obvious that there was something off about her character like there's just something about her character that was very very out there um, but for this one because they all look more normal and not anime like ish um, it, it's kind of nice like when the reveal about her happened um, it was definitely a lot more surprising, especially if you didn't watch the other versions or you didn't read them, the original source material. Um, it, it's quite refreshing to... It, 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 it definitely delivers the plot twist that, it's about the, that it intends to deliver in terms of the storyline. This one, the main focus, there's a lot of exposition happening, but I don't exactly mind because it... I don't know, like, it just fits the the general atmosphere that they're going for in terms of the drama and since they have a lot more airtime as compared to how films are given that this one is in episodes um i feel like they do a good job in terms of pacing the necessary levels in the story um that is presented you know in terms of the games and stuff now in terms of the characterizations i have to say that um 
even if you know the the juniors from both Bishonen and High High Jets, I do feel like they have their fair share of acting experiences here and there already with their respective you know careers and stuff like that. Um, I still think there's definitely room for improvement at the moment in terms of how things are. I've I actually enjoy um, Ryuga Sato's acting as um, Mikasa Tenji, and also it's quite a shame that we only have um, Inoue Mizuki as um, Shibe Makoto in just the first couple of episodes, simply because it just follows the arc of the character. We see him more since you know he's still in the story per se. I was pretty pleased with the way that he was acting his character as well. Like it, they both acted with just the right amount of theatricality, but also the balance of realisticness. Now, what's interesting about this is the reason why I actually watched this series is because of Hidaka Ukisho. Um, I've been particularly fond of him simply because he has a very interesting dynamic with my Kimpuri Oshi Hirano show. <laughs> um, and I was pretty, like, I was surprised that he was the one who was cast as Katagiri Uichi simply because, again, as I mentioned earlier, Yoshizawa Ryo did such a good job in terms of creating the duality of that character. So, just a little bit of like a spoiler. Um, Yuichi is kind and all like everyone in their group really loves him and relies on him and stuff but he, again because of his mysterious past there's something about him that just clicks and there's a certain cunningness to his character in the 2017 version it was revealed earlier on like in the opening sequence of the drama of the of yes of the drama and also the movie so we already kind of know that um, Yuichi is this particular character but then for this one, they decided to focus more on Yuichi's kind and nice side first. And then that's when the certain flip happens in between the games. And that comes off as this sort of like twist about his character in this particular portrayal. For Ryo, where you already have this sense of mystery to his character as soon as you see him. Like there's already something in his eyes which is very, very... One of the things that I absolutely love about Ryo is he nails that kind of like that death glare um that he has whenever he's portraying a serious type of like psychotic role for this one um the change in terms of ukisho's acting as yuichi from the kind one is a lot more i don't know believable and sincere to see so when the flip happens and he kind of gets into this cunning mode that you know that he will do anything to win the games and stuff like that even if it means compromising you know the current friendship that he, they have thing to watch i mean he nails it in some parts like when that kind of like flicker happens where he's nice and then at one point he just suddenly gets into this other character um, which I think is really, really good. But at the same time, you know, again, there's still room for improvement there. But what I like is the difference in terms of how their katagiris were played. Like for Ryo, you, in, you immediately feel that kind of like mystery and cunningness in his character and that kind of like deviousness here. But then for Ukisho, there's definitely like more highlight in the friendship area or the kindness of the character. Um, the nice side of him and that's why when he becomes this like flat type of more vicious type of character it's a lot more interesting to see i hope that they just focus more on that because whenever he does that little like evil devilish smirk type of thing i'm not sure but i feel like that's too much of an overkill just to show this duality in terms of his character but in terms of just this shift of that nice katagiri to the more you know serious kind of like scary one i think that you can definitely see the divide a lot more in um okisho's portrayal which is very very interesting because i feel like he has this more like nicer type of vibe to him um whereas Ryo, Ryo he definitely nails the more you know vicious side of katagiri and i really really like that dynamic i'm really i'm really interested to see as well like how the rest of the story would go because um in the latest episodes 
it already entered like the other members of both the units participating in the drama as well and i'm still not particularly that impressed entirely in terms of how they're portraying the role so far it's still a little bit shaky but i understand that for fans of both the units you know it, it's quite interesting to see them all together it is an ensemble drama after all um and yeah but i don't know like uh, so far i am still pretty much hooked in terms of this where the story is going even if i already know it from the other adaptation it's still very very much exciting um again i wouldn't say that it's superb spectacular anything like that because again um i have seen the other version and um i feel like definitely acting wise um there's definitely a like a gap there um but so far in terms of how this one is going it's not exactly a bad adaptation as well it's definitely entertaining and yeah i'm pretty excited to see the rest of it so yeah now with that said so tell me down in the comments below how are you currently watching this drama as well what are your thoughts um any other suggestions that are of a similar genre as this one i would really, really want to check it out um have you seen the tomodachi game that is a yoshizawa Ryo version so let's talk it out in the comments as well i'll be talking more about this series after i finish like the entire thing once it's done but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you again soon in a new one